amazing people it's another wonderful day and my name is Lucia and today I'm actually going to be sharing with you my experiences on social media as as a human in the artist business <laughs> um, I'm gonna be re going really deep so you might want to watch till the end as I'm really gonna be getting into this at the same time, you're gonna watch me paint as well. So yeah, stay tuned. So let's get real. I was getting sapped, sucked into the social media bubble to the point where I was starting to hate the projects I was working on. But the main reason was the mounting pressure to create, you know, whatever the market wants. Um, but honestly, this is how I forgot even who I am <laughs> and what actually drives me. And, um, you know, but I understand this, you know, as a beginner in this field. Um, I'm not technically a beginner artist, but if you're starting out um i would under i would understand the feeling of wanting to um to create for a certain market and and so on um and obviously you're feeling more vulnerable and even intimidated but honestly there is one thing to know and that there that is there are so many experiences that have shaped who i am and i can't let myself be defined by someone else now it's easy to say it but you have to do the work to really know who you make art for and who your target audience is and what kind of art drives you art real art comes from within and it's not born after perusing social media sites to see what's the next big thing. Art is something beyond internal. Art is how I can breathe because with the hustle we got to live, we can never breathe. We can never feel that freedom that is natural and comes within us from the moment we crawl out of our mother's belly. I can only say that social media is a beast if you let it determine who you are. And honestly, I let it determine who I was for six months. It's real. You got to know the unique being that you are and the perspective that you bring to the table. You are the niche. You are the algorithm. You are you. I'd like to use myself as an example. Personally, I have a very unique background, which ranges from being a young girl in Zimbabwe to being a black woman in Canada and trying to grapple with all of that. Um, how do you grapple with all the beauty that comes with knowing your ancestors, the stories that come with it? It's all wrapped up in this shell of mine and this shell that continues to be expanded to be whole in a number of different ways. I'm still trying to figure it out, how I can keep up with all the rush and noise that comes with being on social media. Because at times it can be real loud, <laughs> real and fathomable. And you just want to be off. You just want to be in the space that you know and that you feel that you can just be in the zone.
they say it's all about the numbers. Get 100,000 subscribers, then your world will become solid. You'll be in TikTok or tick tick heaven once you get 1 million followers. Um, don't get me wrong. I love being connected. I love reading people's comments on other channels. And it's about connecting, you know, with my audience one person at a time. Um, the fact that even one human being was able to connect with with me or with what I had to share is enough validation. Um, yeah. This is not to say that one doesn't want to grow their audience. I still want to grow my audience. to be is to actually vibe with social media in a way that you feel comfortable. This whole idea that you have to post every single day, it's totally old. And I'm sorry to say, but it's not the vibe. Um, definitely not the vibe for, for me as a creative person. The, that energy, that energy is so important and vital for, you know, for, but there's one thing to note, though, and that is you got to po uh, post. Well, I believe that posting consistently helps. Um, and then, of course, deciding on when that is, whether it's once or twice a week for you, whatever works for you. But I have to tell you, I know it looks easy, but it's hard. <laughs> There's a point in time when I actually forgot, I think I forgot um, that I was actually shooting this video just because I really got into, <laughs> into the painting. But anyway, I just wanted to share what paintings I, uh, sorry, what paints I'm actually using at the moment. And the first one that I uh, type or brand that I have is, oh, well, I actually only have two at the moment, really, that I'm using, and that's the Liquitex and the Castle Arts. Um, so Liquitex, uh, Liquitex is really great, um, especially if you want to do some of the thicker painting is, and um, I'm, I'm sure you probably saw me going in with a thicker paint and it's funny because I was not the thick paint kind of person I wanted everything to be smooth and now I am digging in to Liquitex and yeah dabbing it on <laughs> and then of course yeah this one is definitely more liquidy more smooth flowing so if you want more smooth flowing parts um, on your paintings Castle Arts I think is is, is really great for that and um, of course, if you want to water down this uh, liquid text, you can using some of the, uh, what you call it, the, okay, I forgot. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Medium. <laughs> okay, so you can use medium to actually, yeah, just make this a little bit thinner because the only downside is that you want to be careful how much you put in into to this. It's great, but it can end up being very, how can I say, a little bit flat. So you probably don't want it to be too flat. Okay, I'm um, kind of working on this painting as well at the same time. <laughs> Another thing that I overlooked is that being part of an art community, whatever that looks like, 
is really vital and important for my well-being. Um, I'll give you an example. Uh, I was on Twitter <laughs> previously. Um, I didn't even know that Twitter could be it for artists, but it is, and, and it's still <laughs> going on. And even though I was not able to really get my feet wet, like fully wet, <laughs> especially as I was still discovering who I was, I love the community there. And the one, and one way or the other, I'm going to find my way back once the dust settles a little. In terms of actually making an income through social media, I think you do need to give it time and obviously to build trust. Um, there are very few instances where artists just blow up insanely rapidly, but as a dear friend of mine said, it is a very soulful and spiritual thing. And it is for me at least and you don't really want the pressure to sell to overtake your very essence as i've mentioned know who you're selling to and why you're making this art you're never going to let the pressure spill over anyhow i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and as always if this was a worth a moment of your time please Feel free to like, share, and subscribe as this helps me to continue making videos for you guys. All the best and may the universe grant you all your wishes and desires.